the Reverend of the Faith Baptist Church Mission, Nana Kabite. Welcome to our gospel service tonight. At uh, nawasamahan niyo po kami ngayong umawit, sumamba, at mapuri sa Panginoon as we singing a, a song today. And of course, I'd like to greet everyone dyan po sa Maranatha International Baptist Church of Margudon, our brethren, and of course, our Maranatha Baptist Church, California, Texas, USA, headed by Pastor Dar Miller and the MBC Texas brethren. Good evening and good morning to your place. And of course, Pastor Adonna right now is in, a, in a McAllen, Texas, together with Pastor Dar Miller. So good morning and good evening to all of you. At ano ba, maging magkapala po, ang gawain po natin ngayon. Of course, our brethren from different places, no? Mamaya, we will recognize you as we continue our service. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. And today, we're gonna sing a song. Sa ating po magsisimula, tayo po ay lumapit sa Panginoon. But before that, before that, we're gonna sing, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Tayo muna po ay lumapit sa Panginoon sa pananangin. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this evening. Thank you, Lord God, for a good weather, a good opportunity and privilege to preach and to uh, share the gospel to you, uh, to, to our brethren today, Father God. Panginoon, maray maray salamat. And, uh, and also, Father God, we thank you for the privilege and opportunity to visit our brethren from, uh, from her house and able to share a, a salvation to uh, two souls na tumagang Panginoon sa iyo bilang Diyos at nagpagligtas ng iyong buhay. Thank you, Father God, for opportunity to share uh, the salvation for them. And Lord, we thank you. Uh, great opportunity, great privilege to share with them about you, about your gift, about the salvation. Thank you for that two precious souls na nagtas at tumagang sa iyo sa Panginoon bilang Diyos at nagpagligtas. Lord, we thank you. And now we are coming to you, Father God, and sharing and, and, and singing a song to give you glory and honor and worship for Father God. Let our hearts and ourselves become a word in the service, Lord God, before you, Father God, as we worship you today, Lord God. Salamat, Panginoon. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Let us sing a song, Dwelling in Beulah Land. Once again, thank you so much and welcome to our worship with us. We have worship service today and in our online, online service. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. I'd like to greet the BC family, MIBC family, MBC family and the rest of the family, BBC family in Nicosia and our brethren from different places. Let us sing a song, Beulah Land, Dwelling in Beulah Land. Amen. Let us sing the first verse. Oh, the first verse. Far away the noise of strife, noise of strife. Amen. 
and welcome to our service tonight. Of course, Maranatha Baptist Church, John Posa McAllen, Texas, USA, Pastor Darrell Miller. Good morning to you and God bless. And of course, good morning to my dear pastor, Pastor Ramil Adon. I really enjoy uh, having a fellowship. Karina po sa ating joint service sa Maganin, Texas, MDC. Talaga nakita ko natin. At uh, we're so glad and blessed that our pastor Adon was in uh, uh, MDC, Maganin, Texas. No, uh, dati lang pinapalad lang po namin ang MDC. But Pastor Adon right now is in MDC. Uh, thank you so much, MBC family, brethren, for accommodating our pastor, my pastor. You're such a great uh, blessing to, to our church, especially to my pastor, Adona. Talaga namang sobrang sobra ang inyong pagtangkilik at ang inyong pong pag po sa aming mahal na pastor. Thank you so much, Pastor Darren Miller. Pastor Darren Miller, thank you so much for, for uh, for uh, accommodating my pastor. No? Thank you so much. Marami, marami salamat. Of course, later on, 11.45 in the evening, so meron pong uh, service. He will be the speaker of their service, worship service in the morning. So, uh, marami, marami salamat. And please, 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 uh, join with, with our pastor mamaya pong 11.45 in the evening. So, uh, marami, marami salamat. And now, we are now going to... Uh, share with you. By the way, thank you so much for, for the Lord, for uh, three precious souls who accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. I am able to visit one of our brethren, Kinani Flori Gadam. We, uh, we, uh, we visited her together with Sister Faye and uh, Sister uh, Elisha. At uh, bisita po namin po, nandun po ang kanyang kapatid. At ang uh, bisita po namin doon, si uh, uh, Sir Kardin, tsaka yung kanyang wife. And thank be to the God, thank be to God, because we are able to share with them a gospel of salvation. And they accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of their life. Praise the Lord for the two precious souls. God bless you all. And, and uh, this coming Saturday, we will be having a uh, Bible study or a follow-up for them para po sa gawain po doon. And by the way, thank uh, for the merienda po. Uh, Flori. Salamat po, praise be to God. And now, we are now, uh, let us study the Word of God. So, uh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Excited po ngayon. And also, I'd like to greet Sister Marta Reyes, Sister Reyes, and of course, Sister Leticia from Mexico, Sister Lily, and Brother Lily, and uh, the Lily family, and also, by the way, Jacob, thank you so much for being a song leader po sa gawain po kanina and Georgina, and uh, uh, Abby, you have such a great blessing, the Lily family. And of course, all brethren, Pastor Santos was there. And praise be to God because uh, we had a great service kaninang umaga po. And of course, marami marami salamat din po sa ating mga kapatidan from different places, BBC, Nicosia. And of course, diyan po sa ating mga kapatidan po sa iba't ibang dakong lugar ng Pilipinas. Let us open our Bible in Messiah chapter 59. Isaiah 59, verses 1 to 2. Isaiah 59, verses 1 to 2. Okay. The Bible says in Isaiah 59, verses 1 to 2, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, from you that he will not hear. Wow! What a blessing from this word. Sabi Behold, the Lord's head is not, is not shortened. No, paingan po ninyo, ang kamay ng Diyos ay hindi maikse na hindi kayang magligtas, neither ang kanyang tenga ay, ay mabigat, no? na hindi ka ikaw marinig sa iyong mga panalangin. Wow! This is a very assurance that we have a good, great, and powerful God that is able to help us in times of trouble. The title of our message today, The Constant, The Constant, in a changing world. Ang mga nagpapatuloy, ang patuloy, 
no? Ang hindi nagbabago sa nagbabagong mundo. The constant in a changing world. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you. Salamat Panginoon sa pagkakataon na ito na binigyan mo kami ng salita, ng pag-aaral na yung gabi ito na kung saan we were able to understand yung kagalingan, kapangyarihan at kabutihan mo para sa amin. Lord, gabayan mo kami po ngayon sa aming pag-aaral. Ikaw po ang siyang makita, ikaw Lord God ang siyang may taas sa aming kalagitnaan. Gabayan mo kami Panginoon. Help us that we may able to comprehend, to understand, and to know what is the very message of yours today, Lord God. Help us, Lord Jesus, that we may see the power of your words upon our lives. Help us, Lord Jesus. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The constant or the constant in a changing world. Ang hindi nagbabago sa nagbabago mundo. You know, we are living or we live in a changing world. Tayo po ay nabubuhay po sa pababo-bagong mundo o sa pab nagbabagong mundo. Each generation witnesses changes that would astound their ancestors. No, minsan, talaga mayabang pa tayo that we are different from our from our ancestors, from our uh, mga mga nauna sa atin, no? We are so much uh, may habang din sa mga bagay na ito. And uh, scientifically and technologically, yung mga breakthrough na ito ay uh, nagbabago din po at ito po yung nagbabago po sa ating pamumuhay po sa mundo ito. It means, nagbabago po ang lahat. So we cannot even to, to hinder the changes or the changes of this world. Even while weather patterns and common locations of natural disasters change. So, very constant po, constant po ang pagbabago. But, you know, meron pong mga bagay na hindi nagbabago. Ang salita po ng Diyos, the Word of God, never change. Constant po ang salita ng Panginoon. And tonight, I would like to share with you, a things or things are constant in a changing world. Kung saan titigyan po natin, sa salita ng Panginoon, sa binasa po natin ngayon, ay uh, susubukan nating tuklasin yung mga bagay na kung saan ay hindi nagbabago sa mga nagbabagong sitwasyon po ng ating buwan ngayon. Especially in times like this, marami pong nagbago po. We have, we're now living in a new normal. Marahil dati comfortable ka, now you are not comfortable. So let us explore these unchanging truths from the Word of God. Ano po yung mga bagay na hindi nagbabago sa mga nagbabago sa nagbabagong mundo? What are the constant in a changing world? Ang una po, ang mga bagay na hindi nagbabago sa nagbabagong mundo ay ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. God's power to save remains the same. Ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos na magligtas ay nananatiling parehas lang at hindi nagbabago. Sabi ng Biblia sa verse 1 ng chapter 20, 59 ng Isaiah, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. We will see here, itong statement na to, this is a statement that has remained true through the ages. From the very start, na dumating ang Panginoon from the very start na kriniit ang mundo, magikita natin dito, it is remain true sa ating buhay. It is a statement that will remain true forever. Kahit kailan ay hindi po magbabago. Ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos na magligtas ay parehas pa rin. Noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman. God is able to save from physical danger. We will see here, sabi rito, kung paano niligtas ng Panginoon ang mga tao sa Israel, He opened the Red Sea to save Israel from Pharaoh's army. He delivered Daniel from death in the lion's den. Many Christian, many, 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 many faithful Christians, servants of God, 
disciples, apostles, na kung saan ililigtas ng Panginoon ang kanilang buhay from danger. Church, I know, ikaw rin po ay naka-experience ng pagliligtas ng Diyos. Nung tinanggap mo ang Panginoon, nung ligtas ng Diyos ang iyong buhay mula sa kapahamakan, but still, God is faithful. May kita natin dito ang kanyang kapangyarihan noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman ay hindi po magbabago. Sabi ng Biblia ng John chapter 3, verses 5 to 6, ay kung paano iniligtas ng Diyos ang isang tao na si Nicodemus mula doon sa kapahamakan. May kita po natin na ang tao po ay kayang iligtas ng Diyos, na iligtas ng Panginoon ang pangangmawat tao mula noong unang panahon, mula noong ikaw ay nasa kapahamakang kalalagayan, God saved you and God gave you, a, gave, you a, gave you a salvation na kung saan ay ginagawa niya noon at gagawin niya ngayon at magpakilanman. Ito po ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. May kita po natin kung paano po ang Panginoon po ay magligtas, hindi lang po physically, maging spiritually, ay kaya niya po magligtas ng tao. God is able to save the soul from death. We will see here in John chapter 3, verse 3 to 5, may kita natin dito yung nangyari pong encounter ng Panginoon. He saved religious Nicodemus from death in legalism. Ang sabi po rito, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus said unto him, How can me like a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Oh, I thank God. Because kanina po, we are able to share about the salvation from the promise of God. And two precious songs God saved. Can you imagine that? Yung kapangyarihan ng Panginoon nung ikaw ay naligtas, yung kapangyarihan ng Panginoon nung ako ay naligtas is the same power na nililigtas po sa mga tao na mababahagian natin ng salita ng Panginoon. Church, my friend, the power of God, God's power to save remains the same. Kung paano pinagaling ng Diyos ang sinuman at mga may karamdaman, Oh, kaya rin magpagaling ng Diyos ng anumang uri ng karamdaman na meron ka. Karamdaman man ito physical, karamdaman man ito emosyonal, o maging karamdaman spiritual, God is able to heal you and God is able to save you and His power remains the same to you and to me. Oh, I thank God because right now, Sister Cherry is able to recover You know, I saw her. She was devastated. And she was afraid. But I thank the Lord because he, she said, I believe that God is with me and I believe God's power of healing will be with me. But I thank the Lord. Though marami mga hospital na tinanghihat kami, minunta ko sila sa iba't ibang hospital. But I thank God, gumawa na ang paraan ng Diyos. And now, she's now recovering from her sickness. I thank the Lord because I know yung kapangyarihan ng pagaling ng Diyos noon is the same power na kaya magpagaling ng Diyos sa panahon po natin. God's power to save remains the same. At ganun din po mga kapatid, sa panahon ng pandemya na ito, in times like this, God's power to save is remains the same to you and I. Maganin din po sa kalintasan ng mga tao, kalakaluha, ay kayang-kaya po maligtas. God is able to save the souls from death. May kita natin dito, He has seen, He has saved the thief on the cross and guaranteed this paradise. Kung paano ang Panginoon po nagligtas ng mga tao. May kita natin sa istorya po nito ng Luke chapter 29, 23, verse 39 to 43, the story about the thief at the cross and one of the malefactors which were hung railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thy, thy servant us. But in verse 40, sabi nito, But the other answered and rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, saying thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we received the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when the comes into the kingdom. And Jesus answered said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Church, ito po yung sinare po namin kanina. 
Ito po yung binahagi po namin. Yung kamangyarihan po, kanina nung kami ay nag-uusap-usap po ito sa bahay, tahanan po ni Sister Flory Kaanang, ay able to share about the main factors na nagsabi, he admitted that he is a sinner and he is, I mean, he is worthy and deserved to be punished unto death because he is sinners. And you know, we will see here, ang sabi po namin doon, salvation is not about a religion. Salvation is about having a relationship with God. If you know that you are a sinner and accepting that you are a sinner and confess that you are a sinner and ask forgiveness and accept the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, yan po ang kaligtasan. It's not about a religion. It's about a relationship with God. And it, it happened to the main factor on the cross. He admitted that he is a sinner and ask forgiveness from the Lord Jesus Christ and accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of his life. Ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon dito po, ipinamalas ng Diyos ang kapangyarihan niya na kaya niyang magligtas kahit sa kalalagayan na tayo ay makasalanan. God is willing and able to forgive you if you confess and you are seriously and genuinely asking forgiveness from the Lord. Kapagib, ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos mula noon hanggang ngayon na magligtas physically ay kaya pong magligtas hanggang ngayon. Ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos na magligtas spiritually is the same power today na kaya iligtas ka sa iyong kalalagayan. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16, nasabi po rito, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that those who ever believe in Him should not be perished but have an everlasting life. Ito po ang pagkapakita po ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. The reason why yung power ng Panginoon shall remain the same because of His love upon us. Yung pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin and the love of God are not subjective. Ang love ng Panginoon objectively na kahit anong kalalagayan mo, whatever situation in your life, whatever your position in your life, whatever situation in your life, God loves you. And He gave His only begotten Son. He gave His only begotten Son. And God has the power to save you. And the Son you that whosoever believe in you should not be perished. This is a guarantee of, of our lives that we are in the same situation. If you have Christ in your life and you accepted He as the Lord and Savior, His power is still remain. His power to save remains the same. That's why we need to offer Jesus to other people for them to be able to have an everlasting life. Church, remember this. In times like this, kahit na nagbabago-bago ang mundo, even the world's change, which is constant, but there are things that never change. It is constant that the power to save remains the same. It is constant that God's power to save remains the same. Hindi po nagbababo. Hindi po nagpapalit. Even we are in the changing world. Even though we experience changing life. Even we are able, we are experiencing changing situation, but the love of God, the power of God, still remains the same. And that is the promise of God. That's why this is the truth, the unchanging truth in our lives, that His power never changes. It's the same today until forever. That's why do not hesitate to come to the Lord. Do not hesitate to, to ask God, even though we are not able to comprehend His plan for us, even though we are not able to understand the situation or not in our lives. Times that we are questioning God, you are unfair God, you, why did you do it to me? But listen to this, whatever situation in your life, even in times like this, why not you to take or to come to the Lord? Because God's power to save remains the same. 
Kung paano niligtas ang Panginoon ng mga Israelita. Kung paano niligtas ang Panginoon si David sa Lion's Den. Kung paano niligtas ang Panginoon si Shadrach, Meseg, and Abednego. Kung paano niligtas ang Panginoon si Noah. Kung paano niligtas ang Panginoon si Abraham, si David. At ang mahal pang ninunong Kristiyano. It's the same way. It's the same power na kaya gamitin ng Diyos sa buhay mo at sa buhay ko. Why not you to come to the Lord? God is able and willing to save you spiritually, your soul, and your physical life. Why not you to come to the Lord and trust Him that He is a powerful God. And God's power to save remains the same. What else? Ano ba yung mga bagay na hindi nagbabago sa nagbabagong mundo ito? Secondly, God's ability to hear and answer prayer remains the same. Ang abilidad ng Panginoon, ang kakayanan ng Diyos na pakinggan at sumagot sa iyong panalangin ay nananatili pa rin. Nakapares. The Bible says in Isaiah 15 and verse 1, Neither is ear heavy that it can excuse me, hear. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, and it cannot say it can, that it cannot say it demonstration or demonstrates the power of God that His power the same that His power of salvation is the same remains the same and His ability to hear and answer your prayer is constant. Why? Because His ear is not heavy that it cannot hear. Church, my friend. God heard the prayers of His people while they were slaves in Egypt. Remember that? Ang Panginoon po, pinakinggan sila ng Panginoon while they're in the Egypt. Na kung saan, sa panahon na iyon, ay merong kaguluhan. But God heard them, heard their, their prayers. He called Moses to deliver them and tell them He had heard their prayers. Could you imagine that? Nakikinig po ang Panginoon ay God used Moses para sabihin sa kanila na ang kanilang panalangin ay narinig ng Panginoon. He promised to bring them into a good land flowing with milk and honey. Church, listen to this. I know we are now living in a, in a situation like this, in times like this. How can we say that God is with us if we are experiencing a miserable life? If you're experiencing sicknesses in your life, how can we say that we are living in a good land flowing with milk and honey if we are less of problem in our lives? Even though you cannot be able to comprehend your situation today, but listen to this, God's power and God's power is the same. Noon, ngayon, ang magpakailanman. And His ability to hear and answer your prayer remains the same. Kung paano pinakigan ng Panginoon ang mga tao ito, ay kaya rin po silang pakinggan ng Diyos sa panahon po na ito. Sabi mo ng Bible in Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 and the Lord said, I have surely seen ang Panginoon po ang nagsabi po na ito kay, kay Moses. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. Church, nakikita ng Diyos ang iyong pakihirap. Nakikita ng Diyos ang iyong sitwasyon ng iyong buhay. God is not short in His hand para iligtas ka. At ang Diyos ay hindi bingi ang kanyang tenga, mabigat ang kanyang tenga para hindi marinig ang iyong mga panalangin. Sabi ng Bible, people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmaster, for I know their sorrow. Church, alam ng Diyos ang iyong sorrows. Alam ng Diyos ang iyong pag-iirap. Kaya nga sa verse 8, sabi nito, and I count down to deliver them out out of the land of the Egyptians. Church, I don't know your Egyptian situation. You are, I know, I'm sure, lahat po tayo ay nakakaranas ng Egyptian situation. Egyptian or Egypt is the, is the representation of bondage, slavery. Maybe you are no bondage or problem. Maybe you are slaves with your problems. Ikaw ay nasa talikala, at sa pag-alipin ng kasalanan, alipin ng paghihirap, alipin ng problema. But listen to this, ang sabi ng Diyos, I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them out out to the land of the good land and the large. 
Church, one day, one day, God is not, I mean, God has no heavy ears para hindi marinig ang iyong pananangin. Naririnig po ng Diyos ang iyong pananangin. Nakikita ng Panginoon ang iyong pangangailangan. At ang mga bagay na ito ay pinapakita sa atin ng Panginoon. Hindi na po dito sa ating pag-aaral maging sa salita ng Panginoon. If you read the Bible, ang sabi rito, God has given great promises of answered prayer through the Bible. May rito ako natin dito, hindi po bago, hindi lang ikaw na kailangan po sa sitwasyon po ng paghihirap po ngayon. Even the forefather Christians, yung mga sinuuna po natin mananapalatayang Kristiyano, they also experience a tribulation, a persecution, a problems, a trials in their lives. But still, they came to the Lord and trusted the Lord for what situation na meron po sila ngayon. Why not you to come to the Lord and pray to the Lord and believe me, God have no heavy ears for not to Him to listen and hear your voice. God is willing. God is always available. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3, Call unto me. <clears throat> this is the assurance of God's answer. And I will answer thee and shoot the great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Ito po ang pangako ng Panginoon sa bawat sabo sa atin. God has given great promises of answered prayer throughout the Bible. Marami pong kwento sa Biblia na kung saan ang Diyos po ay tumugon sa kanyang mga pananangin. He invited the Jeremiah to pray big and expect answer. And also we experience and we see in the Bible, Jesus invited believers to ask and receive. Ang Panginoon na po ang nagsabi ng ask, humingi at ikay makatatanggap. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8, As it shall be given to you, seek and you shall find, now and it shall be opened unto you. In verse 8 says, For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and not him that knocketh it shall be opened. No, sabi ng Jeremiah po, Is there anything, anything too hard for me? Jeremiah chapter 32. Ano sabi po sa Jeremiah chapter 32? Is there anything hard for me? Sabi ng Bible. The Bible is very clear. Ang kanyang pangako kainanman ay hindi mapapako. Even the early church prayed and thousands came to Christ. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. These are continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. Church, in times like this, we need to continue to pray. Do not stop to pray. And do not think that your prayer did not hear by God. God is always open His ears. Sometimes kapag hindi sinasagod ng Panginoon ang ating pananangin, maybe God is preparing for us the best for us. Misa siguro kahit hindi sinasagod ng Panginoon, wala pa yung sagot ng Panginoon sa ating mga pananangin. Baka may hinahanda pa ang Diyos na masigit doon pa sa ating inaakala. Kaya sabi po ng Jeremiah, Call unto me and I will answer thee. Ang Panginoon na magtumawag ka sa Kanya, sure po ang sasagot ng Panginoon. At kung di ba sinasagot ng Panginoon ang iyong pananangin, baka may hinanda pa ang Diyos ng isang great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Yung hindi may naakala, baka higit pa sa ang bibigay ng Diyos para sa iyo. Church, why not you to pray? Why not you to come to the Lord and pray to the Lord and ask whatever, whatever na gusto mong hingiin sa Diyos. This is the life of early church, early Christians. They prayed. And what happened? When they continue in one accord in prayer and supplication, in verse 31 and 32, and when they had prayed, nung sila po yung nanalangin, the place was shaken, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they speak the word of God with boldness. Church, maybe the reason why you are unable to share the gospel because you did not believe the power, the God, the power of God to save. Or maybe you are not praying to the Lord that God may use you mightily, that God may use you in the ministry of evangelism. Maybe you are not praying for your for your for your loved ones. Now say manikdas. Or you are praying for them, but you are not doing your your your, your part by sharing with them. Why don't you to come to the Lord and pray to the Lord that one day? E bigyan ka ng kapangyarihan ng Panginoon at kalakasan ng Diyos para mabahagi mo 
ang salita ng Diyos. We will see here in verse 32, And the multitude of them that believe were in one heart and one soul, neither said unto any of them that all of the things which was possessed was his own, but he had all things in common. We will see here kung paano ang Diyos gumamit at nagpalakas sa kanilang mga buhay. Church, when was the last time na nanayo sa Panginoon at inagun ng Diyos ang inyong panalangin? Are you glad that God answered all your prayers? Or maybe your specific prayers? When was the last time you prayed at the parang feeling mo, hindi ka sinasagot ng Diyos? Maybe God is preparing for you a best for you na hindi mo inaakala at ina-expect na ibibigay sa inyo ng Panginoon. But still, do not stop in praying. Pray without ceasing. Mananangin tayo ng walang patid. Why? Because God's ability to hear and answer our prayers remains the same. Kung paano pinapakinggan ng Panginoon ang mga naunang kristyano, unang mananapalataya sa kanilang buhay, is the same ability today that God is able to hear you and to answer all your prayers. Meron doon ang uri ng pananangin ng pagsakot. Una, yes. Because nakita ng Diyos that you have a right motive and you have a pure heart and clean heart. That's why God is not hesitant to answer yes to your prayer request. Or maybe no. Because maybe this is not fit for you. Or this is not not uh, blessing for you that may, able, that, that may hinder you in serving Him faithfully. Or maybe, ang sunututan ang sagot ay wait. Baka hinahanda lang ng Diyos ang sagot para sa iyo at panalangin. Because God's preparing for you the best for you. Because God don't want to, to, to give you a partial blessing. God doesn't want to give you a pwede na nung blessing but God's answer for to us is perfect perfect and great kaya nga sabi niya rito call upon to me and I will show you great and mighty things yan po yung kapangyarihan ng Panginoon and that's power is the same the ability of God's hearing our prayers and answer our prayers remains the same today and that is constant even we are living in a changing world, but God is a constant God. His power to save is constant, never change. His ability to hear and to answer our prayers is the same. It's constant, never change. That's why we need to come to the Lord. We need to believe that God is our salvation. In verse 33, as I put in Acts chapter 4, and with great power gave the apostle witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, and great grace was upon them all. Christians prove God's answers prayer every day in their lives, personal lives. But did I know you will also experience the blessing of Panginoon? We pray for our brethren, uh, brethren who suffered from illnesses. Oh, I thank God because God heard us when we pray Sister Cherry and now she's in a recovery situation. We thank God for the miracle that uh, He showed with us. It's a healing and recovery of Pastor Dar Miller. I thank God for, for, for the miracle and we heard and God heard us by sharing the gospel and got a two precious souls that saved. Oh, I thank God. For everything that before we, we, we go to the field, sharing the gospel with other people, we pray and God answer our prayer because why? Maraming tao na us. Are you glad that God answered your prayer? Are you glad that God is willing to answer your prayer? But in every prayer, we need to have a right and correct motive before God. And this is the will of God. Churches pray and demonstrate God's promises of answered prayer are true. Pinapakita po ito. Pinapakita po ito. Marami mga simpahan. Yung pangako ng Diyos, it is very evident po na ang Diyos po may abilidad na marinig at sagutin po ang ating mga panalangin. Naririnig ng Diyos. Actually, hindi mo ba hindi nang ibibig? Naririnig na ng Panginoon. And it is constant. Constant at hindi magbabago Ang bagay na ito, kahit na tayo po'y namumuhay sa nagbabago at bago-bago mundo. Nagbabago po ang lahat, pero ang pag-ibig, ang kapangyarihan, at ang abilidad ng Diyos 
na magbigtas sa tao mula sa kapamakan at sagutin ang ating mga panalangin, yan kailanman ay hindi magbabago. Kaya kapatid, these are the things that constant in a changing world. What are the other one? The last one is, The constant things or the constant in a changing world, we will see here that God's power to save remains the same. God's ability to hear and answer prayer remains the same. This is a constant. And lastly, God's destructiveness of sin remains the same. Ito po, may kita ho natin dito. Kita ho natin dito ang pagsira ng Diyos sa mga kasalanan at sa mga nagkakasala, ang parusa ng Diyos is, is the same. In verse 2 of chapter 15, I said, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Remember that sin is the reason why we are separated from the Lord. At ang kasalanan po, sin in our lives keeps our prayers from being answer. Ito pa yung naging dahilan. Siguro kaya hindi sinasagot ng Panginoon ang iyong kasalanan because you are living a simple life. Maybe the reason why you are suffering many things in your life, miserable life, stubbornness, and, and poverty, or maybe mga bagay nangyari sa atin because we are living or keeping sin in our lives. Church, listen to this. Sin in our lives keeps our prayers from being answered. That's why before we, we ask the Lord, before we ask something from the Lord, why not you and I come to the Lord and ask forgiveness? Why? Because Psalm 66 verse 18 says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Can you see that? Kung meron po karumihan, kalikuan sa aking buhay po, ang aking panalangin po, ang aking salita kailanman ay hindi marinunit ng Diyos. Why? Well, because there is a hindrance. There is a battle of the air. There is a hindrance for us to be heard by God. That's why we need to ask forgiveness. We need to ask before God to clean our hearts and to clean our mind. Elijah prayed with great power because of the way he lived. God showed them, showed him, the great power ginamit ng Diyos si Prophet Elijah to proclaim the power, the great power of God because Josh Elijah lived in the right way, in the right life before God. Kita ko natin dito in James chapter 5 verse 7 and 18 Elias was a man subject to like passion as we are and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. We know about the story about this and it rained out on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth broke forth her fruit. We will see here that if you are living in a sinful life, definitely God will not hear you. Or maybe God will not hear us because we are hindered by the sins. But if you're living, in the righteous life, even the impossible things will happen if you're living before the Lord, before God. If you're living in the righteous life, the favor of the Lord will give you. Even though it is impossible to have rain, because it has rained for almost three years and six months, but if you pray to have rain, and God found or found your heart, find your heart or discover your heart that you are right before Him, kahit imposible po, pwede ibigay ng Diyos basta makita that you are living in the right choose life. You know, church, these are the things that are constant. Hindi po nagbabago ang Diyos kailanman sa kanyang pananagutan at pagsagot at pagpapala sa kanyang mga anak is the same way, is the same procedure 
kung paano niya tayo pagkapalain sa ngayon. And remember, because of this, ay pwede po tayo mapahamak kung hindi natin pagsisisihan at hindi nagtawad sa Diyos ang lahat ng ating mga kasalanan. Because the, the destructiveness of sin still remains. Sorry, wala pala itong God, but uh, I will change this. Destructiveness of sin is the same. Ang pagkasira po, it is constant. Ang pagkasira po dahil sa kasalanan po ay nanatiling parehas pa rin. We will see here if we progress in our sin. Kung tayo po ay magpapatuloy po sa ating mga kasalanan, Sa last, ito po yung progression. Kapag ikaw po ay nagkasala, ang kasalanan po ay ang last, ang pagnanasa, ikaw ay magkakasala at mapapahintulutan o pwede mangyari ang iyong kamatayan. It will still remain in sin and living in the unrighteousness, unrighteousness life or way of living. There's a possibility that we are bound sa kamatayan. James chapter 1 verse 15 says that when last has been seen, it bring it forth seen. And seen when it is finished, bring it forth death. Kanina po, we're able to discuss about death. There are two kinds of death. Physical death and spiritual death. And Romans chapter 6 verse 23 is pertaining to the spiritual death. If you continue to life, if you continue your life in sin, you will be separated to God. At pagkita natin dito, kung ito'y pagsisisihan mo at hindi mo nagtawad sa Panginoon, God is willing to forgive you. Church, remember this. Let us always remember this statement. We cannot escape the consequences of sins in our lives. Hindi mo tayo makakaligtas sa kasalanan po, sa parusa, sa ating mga nagawang kasalanan. Whatever you read, you will saw. Ano man ang iyong tinanim, iyong aanihin. And destructiveness of sin remains the same. Kung paano ang Diyos nagalit sa mga makasalanan at kanyang sinira ang mga makasalanan, pinatay ang mga kasalanan, ganoon din po ang gagawin ng Diyos sa buhay po natin. May kasiraan po kapag tayo po ay nabuhay sa kasalanan. Kapag tayo po namuhay sa kasalanan, magiging miserable po ang ating buhay po. At ang galit ng Diyos sa mga makasalanan ay maninatili kung hindi po tayo nalapot sa Kanya at tingihin ang tawa. Numbers chapter 3, verse 23, 32, 23 said, But if you will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and be sure, your sin will find you out. Kahit itago mo pa yung kasalanan mo at hindi mo ipakita sa sandibutan na ito, one day, you and I, we cannot escape the consequence of the sin. And we will face the Lord and God will judge us according sa lahat ng ating ginawa. That's why, ang constant po sa mundong ito, we know that God's power to save remains the same. Kaya niyang iligtas ang sinamang lalapit at uyingin ang tawad sa kanya. Ito man ay physical o ito man ay spiritual. God's ability to hear and answer our prayers remains the same. Kung paano dinigin niya ang mga Israel to, cro to cross the Red Sea, how he saved Daniel in the lion's den, how he saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in a very, very fair, sa doon sa nagagablab na apoy, how he saved Jeremiah, how he saved the forefather Christians, how he saved the main factor on the cross, is the same way, is the same things na kayang gawin sa ilang Panginoon. Why not you to continue to pray to the Lord and ask forgiveness? 
But if you still living in a sinful life, living in the unrighteous life, right and righteous way of life, destructiveness of sin remains the same. His wrath, his punishment, our penalty are the same. And it's constant. That's why we need to come to the Lord. We need to seek God. We need to learn that the power of God is constant. And His penalty never changed. It's also constant. That's why let us come to the Lord. Let us come to the Lord. Our need for salvation remains the same. Ang ating pangailangan po sa kaligtasan ay nananatiling parehas pa rin. Ikaw, kapatid, dapat pong ibahagi ang kaligtasan na natanggap mo sa Panginoon because it is the same for us. Ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon for sinners remains the same. That's why they are also deserve to be saved. Christians, sinasabi mo na kasyano ka, why not you to be a minister of other people na makarating at makilala ang Diyos bilang Diyos at nagpapagligtas ng kanyang buhay. Why not you to fulfill the great commission? Why not you to, to, to share the love of God that they may able to know about Jesus as the Lord and Savior of their life? The way of salvation remains the same. Ang paraan ng kaligtas at kapatid ay nananatiling pareha. These are the constant things in this changing world. Even pabago-bago ang mundo, pero ang way ng kaligtasan ay nananatiling parehas. Na ang sino mang magsisisi at maniniwala, at ang sino mang tatanggap, ang sino mang magsisisi, aaminin niya kanyang kasalanan, at hindi siya ng tawad sa Panginoon, at kikilalari ng Diyos bilang Diyos at nagpapagligtas ng kanyang buhay, it will never change. It's the same. Remains the same. Why not you to share that's constant things in a changing world? Yan po ang hindi nagbabago. Kung nasabingat ka man ng kalalagayan na ikaw ay delikado ang iyong buhay. Kung nasabingat ka man ng kapahamakan, you are in an impending danger. Why not you to come to the Lord and believe that God's power to save remains the same? Kung paano siya nagligtas noon, kaya niya rin magligtas na yan. Kung paano ang mga salot noon iniligtas ang kanyang mga anak is the same way na kaya gawin ng Diyos sa panahon ng pandemya na ito. Just believe in the Lord. Pray to the Lord and God has ability to hear and answer your prayers. But stop living in a simple life. Because it is also a constant. Destructiveness of sin remains the same. Ang pagsira sa kasalanan, ang pagwasak sa kasalanan ay nanatiling hindi magbabago. Sisirain ng Diyos o kasakin ng Diyos ang lahat ng mga likong gawa upang ang tao ay maligtas. But it, why not you to come to the Lord and trust the Lord once again? The constant in a changing world, ito po ang isang bagay kailanman na hindi magbabago. Mahal ka ng Diyos. Mahal ka ng Panginoon. The love of God for sinners remains the same. The love of God to you and to me, for me, remains the same. And that's why, Pagkatiwalaan mo ang Diyos sa iyong buhay, talong lalo na ang kaligtasan mo, ibigay mo sa Diyos ng buong mo. Constant in a changing world, magandang gabi po sa nila and gather sa spot. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Panginoon, maray marami salamat po sa gabi nito. Salamat sa hamon mo po sa amin, sa iyong salita. Lord, we know that your ears, your hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Neither is, is your ear heavy, that it cannot hear. 
Father God, thank you for that promise. I know, Lord God, that we don't deserve no worthy of all blessings. But because you are a loving God, a merciful God, thank you so much for Jesus. Panginoon, ngayong gabing ito, whatever situation that we have in our lives today, maybe others are experiencing miserable life, maybe others experience starvation, maybe others are experiencing poverty, trials, may mga karamdaman, may mga kalungkutan, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Lord, thank you so much for your promise. Salamat, Panginoon, sapagat we know that your power to save remains the same. That your power and ability to hear and answer our prayers remains the same. That's why, Father God, we are coming to you, asking and believing and putting our trust that every circumstances, every situation in our lives that we feel na para ang hirap-hirap, para pagsubok palagi, now we're able to understand that you are the same. You are constant in a changing world. Even though we have a new normal life today because of the pandemic, but Lord, it's the same. We have the same God that never changed, and that is you. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for hearing our voice. And thank you, Lord God, for saving us from destruction. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. Help us, Lord God, yung mga kapatiran na may mga pagsubok, marayo sila may karamdaman, merong hinihiling na panalangin. I know, Lord God, na merong ang plano. I know, Lord Jesus, that you have a great plan upon our lives. Just like what you said in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. That's why, Father, God, we thank you for that promise. The promise that we have a successful life in this world. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your power to save. Thank you for your ability to hear. And thank you for saving us from the destruction because of sin. And that is constant. It will never change for life. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you, church. Thank you, to my brethren who are listening and watching right now. I know, I know. You are now in a situation kung saan may mga pinagadaanan ka. Why not you to claim the promise of God that Jesus is the same from the past, today and forever. He's the same God. He's the same God of Abraham. And He's the same day in our lives. That's why. Put your trust in the Lord and He will never leave you by us. God bless us all and mabuhay sa inyo lahat. As a Lego, thank you so much. Amen. Have a nice rest tonight and see you at 11.45 at Maranatha Baptist Church. Our Pastor Adonha, our speaker po doon and let us join. Let us join with them and 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning, they will have a evening service. Let this, this service become our, our, our uh, devotion, morning devotion on the 8 o'clock in the morning. So please be there. And I'm glad to see you there. Your, your name, your, your message on the live streaming. And thank you so much. Pastor Darrell, thank you so much. Mara at the Baptist Church, thank you so much for uh, taking care of my pastor, Pastor Adana. And Maranatha International Baptist Church, brother, thank you so much. And TLBC, the Burnham of the Faith Baptist Church. Thank you so much. BBC Nicosia and our brother from different places. God bless us all. Have a nice rest and good night. Continue to pray for one another. God bless and thank you so much. God bless.